of Sodor. The wind was bitter, the ground hard with frost. Thomas and Percy were cold and cross. All I want is a warm boiler, huffed Thomas. Firelighter knows that. He's late. He's not late, replied Percy. This weather woke us up early. Gusts of wind swirled round the shed, tossing flakes of snow toward Thomas. Then they swooshed round Percy, too. Why don't we talk about something else, shivered Percy. Yes, replied Thomas. Like how silly we'll look when our funnels turn into icicles. That's not funny. Maybe we'll stop feeling cold if we talk about warm things, like sunshine and steam. Scarves, continued Percy. Scarves, laughed Thomas. That's what you need, Percy. A woolly scarf round your funnel. Thomas was only teasing, but Percy thought happily about scarves until the firelighter came. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying hot porridge for breakfast. He was looking forward to taking important visitors on a tour of the railway and had pressed his special trousers. I shall put them in my trunk. Sir Topham Hatt said to his wife, and change into them just before the photographs are taken. Then he set off to catch his train. Percy was now working hard. His fire was burning nicely, and he had plenty of steam, but he still thought about scars. He saw them everywhere he went. said Henry. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, replied Percy. You've only got a small one. Before Henry could answer, Percy puffed away. Henry snorted. He was looking forward to pulling the special train. It was time for the photographs. Everyone was excited. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting on the platform for his trousers. They were in a trunk amongst a big load of baggage. The porters were taking the baggage trolley across the line. They were walking backwards to see that nothing fell off. Percy was still being cheeky. His driver always shut off steam just outside the station. Percy wanted to surprise the coaches by coming in as quietly as he could. But the porters didn't hear him either. Percy made them such a fright that boxes of baggage. Sticky streams of jam trickled down Percy's face. A top hat hung on his lamp iron. Worst of all, a pair of trousers coiled lovingly around his funnel. seized the top hat. Mine, he said. Percy, look at this. Yes, sir. I am, sir. My best trousers, too. Yes, sir. Please, sir. We must pay the passengers for their spoiled clothes, and my trousers are ruined. I hope this will teach you not to play tricks with the coaches. Percy went off to the yard. He felt very silly. On the way, he met James. Hello, Percy. So you found a scarf, eh? But legs go in trousers, not funnels. And he puffed away to tell Henry the news. That evening, Thomas and Percy were resting in the shed. Percy's driver had taken away the trousers and given Percy a good rub down. Firelighters promised to come early tomorrow, said Thomas. Henry arrived. He'd enjoyed taking the visitors around and left outside for Percy, too. Driver says the weather will be warmer tomorrow. You won't need a scarf, Percy. Certainly not, replied Percy. Engines don't need scarves. Engines need warm boilers. Everyone knows that. <laughs>